What the fuck? What is up guys? Now I know a lot of you guys are wondering what is in this box. And well, all I'll say is I did take a peek. I already took a peek and we are gonna be doing something very different. Now I know a lot of you guys have been following me for a while and you know I react to a lot of different things, but if you also paid attention to my channel, I also like to sprinkle some plot twists in there somewhere. Now, you guys might be wondering, what is in this box, you ask? Well, um, I took a peek, like I said earlier, and we found that in this box is food straight from Ireland. Yes, Ireland. I have absolutely no idea anything about Ireland, except for the Lucky Charm stuff, bro. Kiss me, I'm Irish, or I don't, I, I think my, my inner Irishman comes out around March <laughs> every year. Now this is from, provided by Snack Crate. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them, so this is not a promo at all, trust me. I figured it'd be a really cool video to, to make. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome if you're a returning viewer. Welcome back. We do weird things on this channel almost all the time. Most of the time we do reactions, so it's not that weird. But uh, we'll, we'll be trying out some new things. Anyways, we got this box here, and um, <clears throat> literally, I'm greeted with a card that says, these snacks are expired. That is exactly what we want to see when we open up something like this. But then underneath it says, just kidding, they aren't. But you might think that way if you don't pay close attention to the date format. To help ease your mind, we've included a handy guide of common international date formats just for you. The US format is completely different from all of the other international formats, if that makes sense. I mean, I know you guys are dogging me in the comments down below. One of my German reaction videos, you're like, and I'm like, oh, damn, I didn't even think it was like that. We have this beautiful brochure of Ireland and the, it's like snack Irish right here, boom. Uh, this details, I'm pretty sure what's in the box, but I, I'll leave that up to surprise. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this off to the side because we really want to get into this thing. In fact, I said the Lucky Charms joke earlier, right? Well, we have a uh, guy with a pot of gold, a little leprechaun with a pot of gold and a goat with a little hat and a, a, a clover and a violin. I mean, pretty much all the things you kind of expect from Ireland. In this box, when we open it up, we have this. This is what it looks like, all right? Now I'm gonna open it up so you guys get to see what's in here first, like I did in my last video with the German snacks. Oh my God, it looks so good. Now, I don't know what's in this box because you guys get to get a sneak peek before I even get to look at it. Now I'm gonna turn this around and begin the food review. Well, so what we have here are these things called meanies. Now this, oh my God, pickled onion flavored chips. Oh Lord, they must love their onions because I'm also seeing another onion flavored chip in here as well. Here's the candy, or not the candy, it's not candy, these are chips, right? All right, let's, let's just try these things out, all right? Let's, mm. First of all, the design of these things are very interesting, but look at this, look at that. It's very, it looks like a cream puff. Definitely can taste the onion. What else was in this? Oh, pickled onion. It tastes like a sour onion, but it actually doesn't taste too bad. Oh! It definitely just scraped the roof of my mouth though, so the inside of my mouth is bleeding right now. I'm gonna get some water and I'll be right back. Here's my water. Woo! And we're back. We are back. Next snack we're trying are these Vintage Irish cheddar and onion flavored chips. This is what it looks like. I can only imagine that this is gonna have the taste I can I can envision a cheesy and oniony taste, kind of like a, a cheesy funion is what I expect to taste. The rumors are true, folks. This is definitely a Lay's chip format. This is what it looks like. Uh, it looks like it's lightly salted or lightly uh, seasoned with whatever the flavor of this is. And I'm going to try this in three, two, one. What? Hold on. You want my honest opinion? This says Irish cheddar and onion flavor, right? Right? This tastes nothing like it says on the packet, bruh. Nothing like what it says on, on the bag. This tastes like regular plain Lay's chips. This one seems like it's more flavorful, so let me see. It doesn't taste like cheese. It doesn't taste like onion either. 
This tastes like salt. I'd give those chips a solid five. They were all right, but they tasted like a chip I've already had before. It's not that good, to be honest. I mean, they weren't bad, they were just plain. Next snack we have are these. Light and melty prawn cocktail. Skips, this is what the package looks like. So, let's put it to the test. How legit are these prawn cocktail things? Oh, wow, these look interesting. Oh my God, look, look. Aren't prawn like fish or some shit? Well, boy, apple teeth. What the hell? Hold on, man. What? What is up with these countries lightly seasoning the damn chips? I can't taste nothing. That's why in America, dog, we be dunking our shit in seasoning and sugar and high fructose corn syrup because we try to taste our food. Definitely not my favorite. You can barely taste it, but after you're done eating it, it gives you this fishy after like taste in your breath. Residual. <laughs> it's not bad though, it's not a bad. Oh, it smell like, oh, it smell like fish though. But it's not great, once again, not really like, oh my God, I tried something brand new and it tasted amazing. Didn't get that. Next, Paul, Paul, Paul. Do I got time for these? I'm about to see if I got time for this. So we got these drumstick squishies. This, I know the bro. Anything chewy is like, that's my weakness right there. That is my weakness. Original raspberry and milk flavor. And <laughs> milk flavor? Raspberry and milk? Y'all wild, man. Milk and raspberry? Well, we'll see if this tastes good. Boy apple teeth. This is what it looks like. This is what the product looks like. Oh, this shit slapped. Ladies and gentlemen, we found our first Irish banger right here, man. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! That tastes like the marshmallows and Lucky Charms if it was gummy. No, these are this a hit, bro. That's a that's a banger right there. You guys got on the right foot. Woo! Ooh, we got another one. I'm gonna try something. Try my another puff. Bacon flavor fries. I don't know, guys. This is what bacon flavor fries. Anything with bacon's gotta be good, right? We, 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 we come on, we making bacon, you know what I'm saying? This look good. They look like bacon pieces. I, I'm, I'm being brutally honest. If it tastes good, it tastes good. If it doesn't taste good, I'm gonna be like, this don't taste good, but I'm gonna still eat it, because that's the kind of guy I am, right? Oh, these look like dog treats, no cap. I ain't gonna lie, these look like dog treats. No, what the fuck? They look little bacon bits, but I'm gonna try it. What y'all got me eating, man? But hey, they look good. I'm not gonna lie, bacon's good, man. I, I low key be trying to eat those dog treats, man. The little bacon dog treats. I'm like, those dogs are killing that shit. Like, it's the best thing on this earth. I need to try one of them. But anyways, let, let, let's eat this. Flavor fries, delicious bacon flavor cereal snack. Oh no, you do not want to put milk in this. Oh no. It has a, the aftertaste for this is bacon flavored. When you bite it, it tastes like a bitter pork rind. Not, not, no funny business, it tastes like a bitter pork rind. I'm gonna put my L pile over here, a W pile over here. Probably can't even see what it looked like right now. I'm gonna get these on out the way before you get into what it looks like good stuff. Scampi flavor fries. Scampi and lemon flavor cereal snack. Try this again. This is what it looks like. Boyne apple teeth. Okay, these look a lot better. These look like little, uh, it's like pizza, uh, oh, what do you call them? Pizza bites, man. Like basically a pizza bite, but look. Those Tostitos pizza bites or whatever. Oh, this is bitter as hell, man. No, this is big bitter. A lot of these snacks, bro, have an aftertaste. Like, it technically tastes like what it's supposed to taste like after the fact. When you eat it, this is bitter, yo. This is bitter. And it's weird, too, because it has like a, like a spicy, salty taste with a sweet lemon aftertaste. Star Bar. That looks good. It feels good. This is a... a I might dub this a W before we even bite into it, but I don't want to do that because you, mm -hmm. 
Y'all, the, 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 the L pile is definitely bigger than the W pile. We have two W's right now and four L's, bro. Four L's. Oh my lord. Let's go ahead and try this out though, man. Oh, that's what it looked like. It looked like I'm gonna bite into it. Slow-mo, okay, slow-mo cam, let's get Ooh, ooh, it is car. Tell you exactly what this tastes like. It's a it's a butterfinger with caramel in it. W. Now here we have something called Rebels. That's what it looked like. I'm gonna open it up. Okay. Pour some in my hand. This is what they look like milk duds. These are basically milk duds, right? They look like milk duds. But what do they actually taste like? Hmm, crunchy. Oh. Is this a malt in the inside? So these are like malt balls. There's like a sugary malt in the center of them. All right, this one looks good. This is called the Chocolate Kimberly. I probably sh probably should have this with milk or something, but kind of in a rush. I have to go to work in like 15 minutes, so I'm gonna speed this up. That's what it looks like. I'm not a huge fan of chocolate, but one apple tea. It tastes like a gingerbread cookie. Two gingerbread cookies coated with chocolate with a marshmallow inside, like a gingerbread oatmeal cream pie, but without the oatmeal, so a gingerbread cream pie. This one is a snack brand. It's called the Sandwich Snack. I'm gonna try this one. Hi. What the fuck? In the proper day. Yeah, this is definitely a W. I like it. It's cool. And we are going to wrap this thing on up with our last few snacks. This next one is a shortcake snack. It's covered in chocolate, and boom, that's the pack. I'll try to be as descriptive as possible, but this is what they look like. Bam. Let's eat these things. Mm. The chocolate cover. Vanilla quick cracker. I like it. Extreme chew it. Sour tutti fruity chews. Boom. That's what it looks like. You already know I'm a sucker for chewy candies. Toffee number one. Let's try it out. Sour in a weird way. I'm actually not sure how I feel about these. I'm surprised too, because I normally like chewy candy. It's sour, but it's also kind of pungent. It's like a sour, pungent taste. It barely tastes like grape. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, W's. Foods that I actually liked from this snack crate. And then one, two, three, four, five, six foods I did not like <laughs> from this snack crate. And all that to show, we have different palettes and whatnot. It's not, this is not a bashing video where I'm like, oh. but I definitely had my, my foods I enjoyed and the foods I did not like too much. I didn't really care for too much. As I can assume that a lot of you guys might as well. That was very interesting. I will be doing more of these reviews because they're very interesting to me and it's just something that I would like to come back and watch. Pretty sure some of you guys would like to watch them too for some random entertainment, for things that have nothing to do with reactions or anything of the sort. So support your boy. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications, and maybe, maybe you'll see another video like this in the very near future. But that was a very interesting snack crate. I've never experienced anything like it. Ireland, you guys are very interesting. Until the next time I see your beautiful faces again. Oh, by the way, we have a Discord. We do have a Discord if you guys are trying to be nice and in tune with your boy in the community. Obviously, probably share some better snacks, you know, some snacks that you be like, hey, listen, we don't even like that stuff over here, dog. Here's some better stuff. Or if you guys want to just, you know, show me, share, share some cultural things with me, um, that would be cool. Or if you just want to chat it up, play some video games, hop on a Twitch stream with your boy, 
hit me up on Discord. Link is in the description down below. Follow me on Twitch. Link is in the description down below. Follow me on Instagram. Guess where the link is? Yeah, you guessed it. In the description down below. And Twitter? Twitter? In the description down below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, that was a fun video, man. But until the next time, see you guys again. Take care. Love you guys. Peace! Hey! What's up? Did you guys subscribe to the channel? Did you subscribe to the channel? Ah, well, if you haven't, make sure you do that. Also, we do have a Discord. The Discord link is always gonna be in the description down below on any of my videos, and it's dope. What we do on Discord is pretty simple. A lot of you guys are, I'm collecting you guys from a bunch of different countries, a bunch of different places, and you guys wanna teach me a whole bunch of stuff. You guys can join the Discord and teach me anything. You can send me any kind of messages and stuff. You can actually post memes. You could participate in the community and just make friends. Just Go ahead and join the Discord and see what, how, what what kind of situation you're getting into for yourself. Also, there's going to be some giveaways in the future. There's going to be some giveaways. But to create some incentive for that, I need you guys to follow me on Instagram. Are you guys following me on Instagram? You know what my Instagram looks like? Probably don't know what my Instagram name is. <laughs> it's right there. Just go ahead and check it out. Check it out. Check it out. It, it's dope. Uh, just follow me on Instagram. I, I do live streams every day. I try to, you know, engage with you guys in every way possible. I know a lot of, a lot, not a lot of creators are very engaging with their fan base. I try to be engaging. So just go ahead and check it out. There's no, no harm, no foul. Follow me on Twitter too. I honestly am trying to grow my Twitter, <laughs> but I don't really post that often on there. But when I do, you guys will be the first to see whatever post those will be. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you guys want shout outs or whatever, I don't know a lot of we have a lot of upcoming independent artists that have been hitting me up as of late I might create a series where I get I favor my international independent artists and stuff and I might promote you guys for free But just it might just be one or two a week, you know, I mean you guys can give me some feedback on that But all to say follow me on my social medias. All right, if you guys aren't doing that already You need to do that because that's a pretty big deal. <laughs> I'll see you guys later, but enjoy the content I create it's gonna be random uh, reaction videos a lot of a lot of everything reaction videos Blogs, challenges, cooking videos, gaming videos, anything you guys suggest when you join my Discord or message me on Instagram. But I'll see you guys soon. Take care, follow me. Peace!